Okay, we're going to work on some clamshell variations, and this is really focused on hip and torso stabilization. So you want to try to kind of think about that the torso is like a rectangular box with four points, the shoulders and the hips, and we want to think about trying to keep all four of those points connected and so that there's no spinal rotation that's happening during this. You're going to start supine in the hook line position, so feet are just comfortable distance away from the pelvis. The pelvis is in neutral, the ribs are really relaxed down and in, and a small little hug in the abdominals. We're going to start with a simple clamshell. We're going to try to go as symmetrically as we can, and we're going to eccentrically um, contract the adductors to try to hold on to the legs so they don't just fall open. And then we're going to squeeze as we come back together. And again, you're trying to Go nice and even, just an open and a close. And one more time, open and a close. And I'm just rotating kind of on the balls of my feet to make this happen so the feet can be in a little bit of a flex position. Then we're going to add a little bit of um, choreography to it essentially. So we're going to open the right leg and try to stabilize the left side so that it doesn't go sliding open. So again, keep that hip down to stay stabilized. And then we're going to open on the left side. And then we're going to bring the right side back to parallel. Try not to drift off to the left. And then bring the left back to parallel. We'll do that on the other side. So we go open left and stabilize. Close left and close right. One more time each side and open right. Open left and close right. Now we're going to add a little bit of um, internal rotation to it. So we'll go open right, internally rotate on the left. So we just want to feel the head of the femur kind of slide in that socket. You may not get much rotation here, that's okay. Then you're going to go back to parallel with the left leg and back to parallel with the right leg. We'll go the other side. Open the left leg, keep the right side stable. Internally rotate the right femur. Bring the right femur back to parallel. Bring the left femur back to parallel. Let's do that one more time each side. Open the right femur, keep the left side stable. Internally rotate the left femur. Parallel with the left femur. And parallel with the right femur. Externally rotate the left femur. Internally rotate the right femur. Parallel and back to parallel. And back. We're going to add some arms now. Brooke is going to demonstrate with a band, and I'm going to demonstrate without a band. We'll start simple and then we'll get more complex. So we'll start with the opening and closing, trying to keep the arms and the legs symmetrical as you open out. This is homolateral movement, the same sides of the body are moving. arch through the spine, just keep a nice long torso. One more time, simple. Now we're going to go into contralateral movement. So the left arm and the right leg are going to open away from each other. Keeping everything stabilized. That left leg is going to want to try to go into rotation, try to keep it in parallel and facing the ceiling. And then we're going to pull that back in. And we'll go on the other side. So externally rotate the left leg as the right arm opens for the second. And pull it back together. And the other side. You want to try to move the arm and the leg at the exact same time.
how we're gonna do a little choreography. So we're gonna go homolateral first. So we'll go right side opens and left side opens and right side goes to parallel and left side goes to parallel. Other side, left side opens and right side opens and left side goes to parallel. <laughs> And right side goes parallel. One more time, each side. Open the right. Keep smooth. Keep the movement. Close the right. Close the left. Last time, left side. Left. Right. Close the left. Close the right. Now we'll go contralateral movement. So. The right arm and the uh, the left arm and the right leg will open at the same time, and then open the opposite side. Close the right leg and the left arm. Close the right arm and the left leg. Opposite side. Left leg, right arm. Left arm, right leg. Right arm. Right arm, right arm, left leg, <laughs> left arm, right leg, <laughs> right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. I feel like we're missing a side. We do one more with the right leg. Okay, we go one more with the right leg. And right leg, left arm. This is how we get lost in our phrases. <laughs> left leg, right arm. And right leg, left arm. And left leg, right arm. Woo! <laughs> now we get real complicated. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna do a little bit of a cross the body movement. So uh, again, Brooke is gonna demonstrate this with a band and I'll do it without a band. So we're going to go uh, homolateral movement first. So the right side of the body will open and then the left side of the body will try to cross, again, keeping your square in your torso. Then the left side of the body will come back to neutral position and then the right side of the body will come back to neutral position. So now we go left side, external rotation, and open the arm a second. Right side, internal rotation of the femur, and then just try to cross the midline of the body with the right hand. Then come back to a neutral position with the right side, and back to a neutral position with the left side. And then go on the opposite side. Right side, external rotation, second position. Left leg internally rotates as the hand crosses across the midline of the body. And then come back to neutral. And come back to neutral last time. And open. And cross. And parallel. And parallel. Now we're going to do that in contralateral. So we'll go in the opposite direction. So we're going to open the right leg and the left arm at the same time. We are gonna internally rotate the left leg and take the right arm across the midline of the body. Try not to spiral through the torso so the shoulders will stay stabilized. Bring the left leg and the right arm back to neutral and then bring the opposite sides back to neutral. So again, we'll open on the opposite side. So this will be left leg goes to external rotation, right arm goes to second. Right leg is going to go internal rotation as the left arm reaches across the midline of the body. Bring those two sides back to parallel and then bring everything back to parallel. We'll do that one more time. So right leg opens as the left arm opens. Left leg internally rotates as the right arm reaches across. Cut back to parallel and bring that side back in. And opposite side opening and crossing and parallel and together. Now we're going to do everything in a bridge position. So 
I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with a TheraBand around my knees. Um, you saw Brooke demonstrate with the TheraBand on the arms, and the arms will come back later. Um, but just to give you options to show the variations that can happen with these exercises. We're going to start and engage the low abdominals, pulling the low rectus. So the pubic bone is going to go towards the ceiling and elongate the lumbar spine on the floor. Then we're going to engage the glutes and the hamstrings and press the pelvis up towards the ceiling. We're going to start with a uh, <clears throat> symmetrical clamshell. So we're just going to open and close. You don't want to go to your full range of motion. You just want to have a tiny bit of engagement happening in those external rotators. Open and close symmetrically. And just two more. We've got pelvis nice and high. Now we're going to do unilateral work. So we'll go right side opens, stabilize on the left. Left side opens, close the right side, keep the left side stable, and close the left side in the opposite direction. Now left side opens while right side stabilizes. Right side opens to match. Left side closes, keep that pelvis nice and high, and close it back together. One more time each side. Open right, open left, close right, close left, open left, open right, close left, close right. Come down for just a moment, bring the knees into the chest, elongate the back, shake those legs out for a second. Next, we're going to add the arms. On this version, though, we don't do any internal rotation in the leg, so we'll just be opening and closing the arms either homolaterally or contralateral. So we're again going to engage those low abs, elongate the back on the spine, on the floor, and lift the pelvis nice and high. Arms will go up to first position. We'll start with a homolateral first this time. So we go open the right side, open the left side. Close the right side, close the left side. Open the left, open the right, close the left, close the right. And right, and left, and right, and left. Open left, left, right, left, right. Now we'll go in opposite directions. So we'll start with the right leg and the left arm. Open and stabilize on the left side of the hip and open the opposite side, close the right leg, close the left leg, and open the right arm and left leg, and opposite side, and closing, and closing, and opening, and opening, and closing, and closing, one more time, and opening, and opening, and closing, and closing. Go ahead and roll down, knees into the chest. You need to kind of get those hamstrings a little tight. All right, now we're going to work on some hip drops. So we're going to take an elongation in the slide and cross up to our bridge. We're going to do um, opposite um, alternating hip drops. So we're going to drop the right side of the pelvis, and then re-engage, and then drop the left side of the pelvis, and re-engage, and drop right, and lift, drop left, and lift, drop right, and lift, left, and lift, right, and lift, left, and lift, one more set, right, and lift, left, and lift. Go ahead and roll down through the spine. Bring those knees into the chest. Make sure the back isn't compressing. The hamstrings are starting to get a little angry. Just kind of make sure that you're keeping them elongated as we go through. Okay, now we're gonna go press the spine into the floor, engaging the abdominals. Lift with the glutes and the hamstrings and we'll do alternating marching. So we'll lift the right leg and place it down. And lift the left leg and then place it down. You want to try to stabilize through the standing leg 
Keep the abs engaged. Keep the spine long. Good. Now we're going to add a little decolleté over and under. So we'll start with the right leg first. You're going to lift the right leg. You're going to decolleté across the midline of the body. Then you're going to tuck it in and under the opposite leg. So now the spine does spiral. And then bring it back up and place it down. We go lift, decolleté, spiral across. Tuck it in and underneath, spiral underneath. Bring it back up and down. Lift, spiral reach across, spiral reach underneath, and lift and down. And lift, spiral on top, and spiral under, and lift. One more time each side. And lift, spiral across, spiral under, and lift. And down last time, in and out, and in and under, and in and down. Lower down. Those hamstrings are talking to you, give them a little stretch. And relax. Okay, now we're going to work on some clamshell. Now, most of you have probably done the lying on your side clamshell, which we'll just demonstrate for just a second to make sure everybody knows what we're talking about. You place the arm underneath the head so that the spine can be in a line all the way through. You want to make sure that you're stacking your hip bones right up on top of each other. And we're going to engage those uh, rotation muscles in the back of the pelvis to lift the top leg and lower it. We want to have the abs engaged and so that there's a little space between your floor and the actual side of your body. And so you would just lift and lower in this position. To go up and make it a little bit more aggressive for the upper body, who are working the serratus here, you would stack the elbow directly underneath the shoulder. And instead of falling into the shoulder, relaxing like you were watching TV or something, you wanna push away and engage through that shoulder girdle. We're gonna keep the ribs lifted, the hip bones will be stacked, and then you would have your rotation happening in this position. The one we're gonna be doing today for demonstration purposes is more advanced. So we're gonna actually lift that bottom hip up off of the ground, knees are gonna go together, and we start with external rotation. And we go lift and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift. Obviously, you can do all of this with a band wrapped around the thighs. Keep the stabilization on the standing leg nice and strong. Strong engagement through the torso. And go ahead and come down. We're gonna alternate sides as we go through this, but if you really wanted to press yourself to fatigue on one side, you could do all of these exercises on one side and then shift to the other leg. So again, nice strong shoulder stabilization, ribs are lifting up and out. We should think about our heads on a diagonal. We'll lift up to the knee and begin. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. The torso should stay perfectly stable and the hips should not rock back and forth. more. And lower down. Switch over to the other side now. And we're going to do some abduction and adduction. So again, we have our strong shoulder stabilization. You're going to lift up to the knee. So we're working the, ex, uh, the exterior portion of the hip here. Leg is long and you're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower, and lift, and lower. Two more. And gently lower down. We'll shift over the other side. Shift 
strong shoulder stabilization. Lengthen through the spine on that side and lift. And gently lower down. Now the next thing that we're going to do is going to really test the stabilization of the torso. So this is going to be flexion extension at the hip. You want to make sure that you're trying to minimize any spiral that happens in the torso. So we're isolating the movement of the femur from the pelvis. We find our stabilized shoulder position and press up. We're going to lift that top leg so it's in line with the hips. And go flex to the front and point to the back. And flex to the front, and point to the back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Six, and back. Seven, and back. And eight, and back. Gently lower down. If that hip's starting to get a little bit tired right now, you can keep the legs over to one side. Take that same arm up and over. And get a nice lateral stretch through the side body. And gently round forward. Now we'll do that on the opposite side now. You may find that one side is weaker than the other. So you just want to think about how that works with repetition to get stronger on that side. Lift the leg and flex and point. And two. And point, and three, and point, and four, and point, and five, and point, and six, and point, and seven, and eight, and gently lower down, lifting that outside arm up and over. You can take a little round to the Oh, no, no, no. 